All right, I'm gonna plonk a portable miner on the iron over here. Okie dokie. Okay, so I press... Oh, I just equip it. Oh, wow, that's a... That takes a little bit of getting used to. And then I just click and I can drop it. Yep, there it goes. Yep. Wally. Equipping it but feels weird. this one weird. pollution instead of, uh, fights it. <laughs> Come on. Oh. And I've got the smelter ready. Co-op. It is so weird to see you just, like... Just hovering weird sh thing. shapes around. And then the building animation is you just throwing building grenades. Yeah. And then they explode into building. <laughs> So we can't actually transport the stuff to the smelters yet because uh, those portable, the portable miners don't have an output. So we have to manually put it in the smelters, but I'm putting them there now so that we can use them, uh, so that we can use them with belts later when we have yeah. access to belts. So that requires help upgrade three. Is that the next uh, upgrade? Which requires a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's the next one. Let's see. Uh, put some iron so in there. Do these, do the configure, do the smelters require electricity or something? I think so. Or, okay. I think that's another thing we gotta fix. But for now, I'm, okay. I'm loading up the Portable iron. Portable miners can there store 100, uh, 100 right. thing. Are you jamming, you wanna jam it in the smelter? Uh, do it, which smelter? Or I'll, I'll do working? it. I was just gonna grab whatever's in the miner and put it in the smelter so it's there and then the uh, miner can keep going. Oh, I see. Um, My, I can put it in there. Portable miners go super fast though, don't they? Yeah. Okay, it's full, but we need to... Yeah. We need, we need to, to actually hook it up to power. We need so to figure I out guess power. we need to make Which, um, power poles. Do you have a power line in your inventory? I don't. Wait. Okay. Yes, I do. I have, I, 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 have a, I have a pole and a and a cable, I think. Like, I think when we got upgrade 2, they just magically got onto my hotbar. Okay, so we need concrete to make the power pole. Uh, like the connector. Which is it, limestone, which we can also find. VR yep. scan. There we go. How close is our limestone? How lucky did we get? I have not checked that yet. I'm working it on power. Is located pretty close, 182 meters. Yeah, not bad at all. <clears throat> Ooh. Wow. That was that's in range. Also, it looks stupid. I, big... I just I just ran the cable through several buildings to that smelter. <laughs> it just went straight through them. Really awkward. Uh, so I'm at the limestone deposit, but I think it's up this cliff. Oh, it doesn't have more things. Uh, let's see. Uh, limestone. I'm heading over. I want to look. Okay. Yeah, I think we have to go around a little ways because there's a there's a there's a planet in the way. <laughs> Goddamn geology ruining everything by <laughs> being everything. <laughs> Stupid Earth, what with it being all a big ass ball of iron. Oh yeah, that is a sheer cliff face. That is hard to get around. This uh north Hang one on. might be <laughs> more more doable. Huh? <laughs> uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. By the way, the berries and shit you're finding everywhere are food. Wait, we have a we have a food? It's how you not die. You don't I don't think there's hunger, but there's health bar. Yeah, that's And health it's okay. good to not die of health bar. <laughs> okay. Uh this limestone's <laughs> on the same plane as us. Which one? The one that's uh, not uh the one I'm standing face. on right now. I'm actually trying to find the deposit though that I can interact with. Leaves. The one that's 90 meters away? Oh, yeah, this is actually still. Uh, oh, really here it close. is. Pure limestone. This, this is. Uh, really this one's not on a cliff. This is a really good spot. Yeah, this worked out. I mean. Last time we had a place where there's a bunch of iron nearby, and then stainless. Poor stainless did, spent like half an hour running track to connect this really distant copper patch that was like 200 meters away and over several cliffs to get to the base. Oh, God, that's. Priceless. Yeah. All right, so I've got some limestone. Uh, this is a pretty good spot. It'll take I some, found some too. work There's actually to make one it run here. Way like super close by. It's uh next to the lake. 
That'll at least get us started. I think I need to disconnect this. So here's an issue. Uh huh. Actually, maybe I can. Maybe, actually, maybe I can run it from there to there. Oh, I probably can. Uh, I can't run an additional power line from the base. But maybe okay. I can run an additional power line. Uh, from one of these to the other one, maybe. Uh, so if you look at the the grinder thing in the back, it only has one attachment. But I think I can just do a whole network springing from that via poles. I think the poles do that. Yeah, I think you can probably link. Um, <clears throat> if, you, if you hit the power pole on the generator and then like link it out, I think it'll work that way. Let's see here. Just plop this guy over here. Okay, I'm just gonna make some concrete. And I have 10 concrete. I'm just trying to get us up to where we can make conveyor belts and then I assume the game will get a lot more um, automated or automatable, I guess. Um, yeah. Once we get like conveyor belts and stuff like that. Okay. And then I feel like then the true uh, satisfactory <laughs> experience will begin. We will Not achieve satisfactory. No, uh, yo, we were <laughs> we were honed, uh, we were trained by Factorio to be able to handle this exact game. I think I made a mistake. There we go. Uh, I think you can only connect one power line to each building. So what you have to do okay. is then connect. You have to instead of going straight from the generator to the building, what I needed to do was go from the generator to a power pole, which then lets oh, okay. you fork paths. Okay, that makes sense. Well, so I now, be able to figure it out. now both smelters are running. Cool. And they'll be running until we run out of power. Uh, okay. We might be in trouble already. Uh, the generator's lights went from green to yellow immediately. Not the generators, the uh, smelters. I think that means low power? Probably, yeah. I think that we need to... Just let them run for now. We don't really need to... We don't need to... They're better than nothing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so, we're, we're getting... Ingots without having to manually ingot them. Yeah. Oh, Those yeah. Are, this one thing I love, it's... It's ingots. Ingoting. I'm gonna <clears throat> ingot... Gross. <laughs> I'm glad we're just Ingot. not I together. Hardly know her. I'm glad we're just not together on this joke. <laughs> <laughs> it just well, reminds me of that moment from Finding Nemo, where like they, he made me ink. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Finding Nemo. What? Never seen uh, Finding Nemo. And that's What's the, the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's nowhere to go from there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, we might be in Hub 3 town. Nope, I need to make more iron plates. Damn it. Okay, <laughs> give me a second. Or is it happening? All right, so they're currently smelting into those things. So, okay. what, we, so what we, we also, we, so we do already have constructors unlocked, which means we, we can construct three. iron plates. We are two thirds the way. The only problem to, uh, with that is that if we turn everything into iron plates, then we won't have any iron rods and so on. Yeah, well, which is yeah, somewhat it's concerning. like making the, the screws or the, 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 the gears versus the iron plates versus... Yeah. You know what to do. No power. Uh oh. Quick, destroy all of the bushes and jam <laughs> them in there. We ran out of bush power. There we go. I have achieved bush power. <laughs> God. Let's see. We cannot. This makes me think of we, George W. Bush. So at the moment, we cannot make. Uh, yeah, we can't make any biomass reactors, so we can't make another one to add to our power. Uh, I think okay. we have to upgrade to get there. Uh, well, we are very, very close to upgrading. So yeah, give me two seconds, and then the hub is going to magically uh, be a whole heck of a lot bigger. I don't know. I don't know if you saw it or if. It's only client side or whatever, but if you click select up uh, milestone, it adds them the milestone requirements to your screen too. Yep, 
Uh, current milestone hub upgrade three is uh, up, and I am about to click the button. Oh Oops. shit! Shiny. I hope you like orange. <laughs> Ooh, we have uh, we have bunk beds now. Every now we can sleep. We also got upgraded. Ooh, we also have Windows XP and, and solitaire. <gasps> that changes everything. Hub upgrade, additional power. Yum, yum. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Caution. Overloading the power network guarantees this supposed to be the kitchen? performance. Oh, it is. It's just a blue moose. Just being blue. <laughs> they have toilet. Go. What the <laughs> fuck? Don't come over here. I'm pooping. I like to watch. Why is this? I like oh, how no. there's no, there's no shower. You you can take a duke, but you can't wash yeah. yourself off afterwards. There's no there's no toilet paper and there's no shower. I don't know if we can take our costumes off. I don't know. We're cursed though. Right off the bat, what? look at this number up here. What? Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> is it welded by a child who doesn't know numbers? I don't know. There's a weird little V up here too. It's just weird oh. welding things, even though this was an automated process or something. <laughs> well, welding could be automated yeah, very, yeah, very yeah. poorly, but it could be automated. It's it's also AI that was like taught by the internet. Like, well, we got right, this one so that turned a... into a Nazi immediately, and this one that's like it just draws <laughs> like a child. Give him the child one. <laughs> <laughs> There's an instant messaging software where we can uh, we can be apparently bothered by other pioneers. Yeah, and we can... And that's apparently all. And then an orange screen of death. <laughs> and then uh, a moose. I definitely miss... And then a diagram miss... of the world cylinderist cylinder. Definitely mis misheard where I thought you were going with that. I was like, the orange screen and smo? <laughs> 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 The orange screen of death. <laughs> All right, how's our bush power? Do we need to uh, shove? Oh, uh, that in was the, the big upgrade. What? Yeah, we can make conveys. We can do it. We can make conveyor now. belts. Uh, There's a reason I was kind of bum rushing for this was because I, yeah. I this was going to be the one that lets us do everything. We can make foundations. Buildings on top of a foundation are adjusted to a grid, making it easier to line them up with each other. We can really just well, pave over all this nature. <laughs> it, there's something to be said for like running through a bush, holding down E, and just like nature exploding into leaves around you. Yeah, it's called beauty. Die plants. Ah, you can't. Beauty. You can't handle my arms. We still can't make a miner. Miner though, can we? Let's uh, see. I don't know. Uh. I Oh yeah, okay. the so the next hub upgrade is Miner Mark 1. So that's how we actually make the miners that have a uh, conveyor slot. So we don't have to run okay, to, the, so we're still to not them. Quite automated. Yeah, then. we still have to hand feed everything. Gross. But soon. Yeah. Okay, and, and then upgrade. we can optimize limestone and actually have it feed towards us instead of running there. Uh, do we um, have a. I did you put a miner on limestone anywhere? No, I haven't made the uh, the miner, but um, I'm gonna work on I, that. Why don't I do that? Okay. okay. <laughs> or after you. <laughs> nah, no. I'll I'll handle getting the uh, the plates. Okay. Get some wires. Too many wires. So many wires. This game immediately gives you a multiplier on how many wires you craft based on the currency. So, so it's like. We, uh, our, our, would our efficiency be increased if we threw down multiple port portable miners on the... Uh... Yes. The question is whether or not okay. you want to deal with... I guess one question is whether or not you want to invest that much into said miners when we will uh, be, be replacing it. them. Yeah. So there's one... Oh yeah, by, oh yeah, right by the lake. This is the closest one yeah, too, so we're both close. idiots. <laughs> yep. We just had to spin uh, a circle and look at the small number and then neither of us did it. <laughs> I... Uh, I... I spun in a circle, and I saw two numbers, and was like, well, there can't be more than that. I and went to the far away the one. Investigation. I went to the far away one, and you went to the cliff one. <laughs> yeah. 
It wasn't it my proudest moment. It really is to the rhythm of We Will Rock You. It, it literally... Boom, boom. You'll never be able to not hear it now. You're welcome, America. Oscar for editing. <laughs> are you gonna... Are you gonna edit We Will Rock You into your video? No. <laughs> it's very bad for your channel to do things like that. <laughs> Uh, you did you see my man. video? Um, yes. Where I shared I it in Discord. It my... <laughs> you did? I didn't notice that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so for people who didn't see it, uh, I've been very sick. Um, oh, yeah, we didn't talk about that at while. all. So we're like an hour in. What? I just realized we're an hour in. We didn't even talk about why you've been gone for two I've weeks. Been sick for like a week and a half, two yeah. weeks. Yeah, okay. Well, I've been sick for a week and a half or two weeks or something like that. Now you're all caught up. Um, da, 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 da. And so I decided to put together a announcement video on where the hell I've been and why I haven't recorded anything at all, all of a sudden. And uh, I decided to make the video set to the background of Thriller by Michael Jackson. I did not monetize the video, but I wanted to see how quickly I would get a copyright <laughs> violation for it. Yes. It was not instantaneous. Yeah. Oh, it no. It was like, I got the email. Especially like, if you upload a video that's just that song and no other audio. <laughs> it's, yeah. it, it's You're making it real easy for the bot to figure that one out. <laughs> yeah, there was no other audio because I wasn't able, I literally wasn't able to talk. I had laryngitis. So, um... <laughs> Like, before the video even left, even finished the pre-processing, I had already gotten the copyright notice. <laughs> like, between uploading it and YouTube, um, like, re-encoding it, it was like, Hey, we noticed while re-encoding that this is Thriller. <laughs> and they were like, and we don't think you own Thriller. We're, we're pretty sure. We're pretty sure you don't own Thriller. Have you heard and of then, Illegal? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I uploaded Thriller. <laughs> and then uh, the, the content of the video is just a bunch of GIFs that I thought were funny. So it is uh, truly a masterpiece. Um, the video runs the length of the song Thriller. And <laughs> it's just like a five, six minute song. It's like and as it's like little nearly... effort as possible. It took like 45 minutes to render what because the fuck? apparently Adobe Premiere handles um, encoding GIFs in particular unbelievably <laughs> inefficiently. Although I, I know like, that in Vegas at least, like it is kind of a struggle if you just have a lot of individual video sources rendering at once. Yeah, that's like, what I was When I would do uh, split doing. screen videos, it was like, it would take astronomically longer and then sometimes crash midway through, defeating the purpose of the entire attempt. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, what was I thinking? Brain, come back to me. Um, I had individual tracks for each GIF, and yeah, it, it really, it took, oh, it took so long. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, these are, these are animated GIFs, they're already animated, how hard could it fucking be to, <laughs> to make this into a video? I feel like you have to reanimate it. <laughs> so yeah. That video was, all things considered, really super fun to put together, but, um... Would you... It's oh quite my a God. shit post. You had to, uh, you're, you, said, you're rendering, your ending program had to reanimate those GIFs for your thriller video. <laughs> 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 and there's the laryngitis. <laughs> oh... I brought it back. Criminy. <laughs> yep, you're right. It did have to reanimate it. Okay, I guess I'm gonna chuck these things into the hub and we're gonna move on to the next one. Yes. Uh, Freedom. Four. Blah. It's so cool. We have a ladder. Yeah. Got a ladder. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, additional biomass generator, new buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Game, you so pretty. Ninth objective, hub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note. To ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked uh, to tutorial not interfere with ending. this last objective. Good Thank luck. God. All right, so we have... I will now never hub. speak again. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's just the same shit. Uh, yep. Plates. 
copper you'd have, wiring. You'd have to just kind of mash them in there. But this is the one now. We can start making the uh, convey belts. Yeah, importantly, we can now make miners. We already had conveyor belts, but now we can have make miners, which actually output onto conveyor belts. Very nice. And the uh, so that's number four. Ah, oh, that's now four. I remember. If you look at the recipe for the conveyor pull, uh, I think it, you can kind of control where the conveyor is going to go ultimately better. Like you can raise it in the air and stuff like that because everything's in 3D in this game, so you can. You can build vertical stacks of conveyor belts in this game. Oh, that's hot. They can just go over each other. You get There's buildings you can stack on each other, which I've never that, done yet, but that's a thing. Uh, to, to quote legendary wordsmith, William Smith. William uh, Smith Smith. That's hot. That, that's hot. So I, I forgot there's actually a reason why we could just build a bunch of portable miners. The Miner Mark 1 recipe is iron rods, concrete, and a portable miner. <laughs> God damn it. All right, well, well that's fine. <laughs> I have a lot of concrete. I do not have a lot of iron rods. Let's see. Okay. This must be for Bird's first time playing this game. Yeah. Yes. It came it out is. yesterday. You <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of iron rods. Okay. Alright. I have a lot of concrete and iron rods. I can kind of just pick up these miners. Maybe don't put that down quite yet. Okay, I was... Uh, Alright, that's fine. Just I'm because, just still messing with the interface, too. Yeah. It's just that it might clip through where the miner goes. Okay. Well, here's the miner. Are you, wait, are you still here? Where you go? No, I, all right, I can come oh, back. Yeah. I'm coming back. Ooh, a, look at that! This is the experience. I'm gonna try to point Dude, it. Do you know what this reminds it. me of? There okay, we go. put it down first, and I'll then I'll. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Look at it go. We and then we just fucking shoot some ladders. This this bad boy down there. That's so. Whoa, cool. that power line's way up there. And then it just starts conveying right away. Yeah. And it moves you. Uh, it does move me. It moves me to tears. We can make the an idle animation. The ladder on the thing works. The ladder on the thing works, Keith. Yep. This is a 3D game. It's Factorio. It's awesome. It's it is neat being I'm able to directly fun. interact with the uh, buildings themselves. It feels less like a... I don't know how to describe it. Like, it feels like a world rather than a... I don't know... The spreadsheet game. <laughs> <laughs> It makes it feel less like SimCity. Yeah, I think that's fair. Like the context around you kind of shifts. I think okay. we want to build a second miner and second smelter uh, no, for I think, iron. No, uh, that the ratio is, well, according to chat, it, somebody just told me, one miner mines for two smelters. Well, no, I was thinking, I was thinking in particular making a second uh, miner and smelter and stuff. And I guess we could, well, yeah, I guess we'd output this into two of them if we can find out how to output into two of them. That's the question. Uh, do we have the splitter thing yet? Let's see. Logistics. Yeah, we don't have the ability to split a conveyor yet. So for now, I think we need a one-to-one -one ratio because it's all we can build so far. Okay. But if I set that um, up, did you, then... When you played this game the first time, did you just spend... As soon as you started putting this stuff down, did you just spend a bunch of time running around it being like, yay? Definitely. Yeah. Because that's all I'm doing. I can't... Well, part of I it was we played a four-player match, so we were fighting mm -hmm. over resources the whole time and making actually way slower progress as a result. Because everyone I, has, like, one-fourth... We were all grabbing stuff off the track and out of the boxes constantly and fighting over <laughs> it. So I'm trying, to, I'm trying to automate up front more to avoid yeah. that. That but like fair. two of the main things we're trying to make right now, right, are plates and like poles, right, or sticks or whatever uh, they are called, rods and wires. We definitely yeah. want to start out of making wires yeah. too. Yeah, well, I mean specifically for iron. So yeah, I figure yeah, we make a right. second miner, second smelter, and then each of them go into a constructor. One makes plates and one makes uh, rods, and then we have them okay. both being made automatically. So we don't have to sit there and keep handcrafting them. For whatever it's worth, the iron coming out of the miner. Looks like raw sewage. It's very, very gross looking. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a weird sight. <laughs> it looks like the miner is just pooping iron. It, it's like a little too shiny, so it ends up not looking like rock and looking like something else. Yeah. 
It's just an infinite turd of iron rocks. <laughs> the infinite turd. <laughs> you ever, dude, do you ever have moments like that? What? An Where infinite it's like, turd? Yeah. Not like literally infinite, but you're like, oh my god. It just keeps going. Um. I don't understand. I'm <laughs> What do you eat? <laughs> Or do you just like, just like let it like all build up for ages until it comes out as like one work of art? <laughs> I, I think just every week's a different event. <laughs> ah, weekly poops. I see. Sometimes no, not it comes weekly. Out as a little compact ball. Not necessarily weekly. I'm just saying that like I I have I have varied inputs of food. And, like, ah. each week is a different pooping experience throughout. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, not. Um, <laughs> let's start. Uh, what are you currently working on? Because I'm going to I'm gonna work on automating the copper. I have made three portable miners. Would you like okay. one? No, I'm going to take the copper one. Okie dokie. Grab it. What is this rant? That's just a random, random flower thing. Do I hold? Do I hold Q to disassemble it? Oh no, we're out of power. Or do I hold F to disassemble uh, it? I think yeah, F. I think F switches to the disassembler like item. Oh, and then there's I, like a little I hot bar in the corner. To dismantle it. The little corner thing says a lot of better stuff. Okay, I guess I can't dismantle a portable miner because it's not technically a structure. Oh no, you picked the them up. How the hell do I pick this thing up? Uh, look at its inventory. And there's a little pickup button. Oh, pick up miner. Okay. Boy, that's a sentence that... Mm, <laughs> very, very... Suddenly very talking about not poop's good. not so bad, huh? <laughs> Uh, no matter what, they always come crawling back yeah. to poop. You're getting all X-Men director on us. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Welcome to the liberal bubble of uh, <laughs> <laughs> streams. Is that just like part uh, of the meta? Like if you want to get an Oscar, if you want to have like critically recognized movies, just be accused of the worst thing. Does it work for it? It's, it's worked for a few people. I don't know. The Roman Polanski strategy exactly. for greatness. That's, that's the name I was trying to remember. <laughs> God, okay, you're distracting me too much. How do I build a, a fucking. Okay. You press Q to find all your building things. Q is how you construct things. Got it. That's how I make a miner, mark two, mark one, and I need some more iron rods, and those are incredibly cheap. How are the miners so, so easy to produce? Uh, well, when a man loves a woman. Uh, go on. <laughs> I, that's, this is what not, what happens next? That's not worth more joke. <laughs> <laughs> that is the, that is the end of how funny that joke is. <laughs> A joke should be as short as it is funny. <clears throat> How do I rotate this thing? Oh, mouse wheel. Good thing the mouse wheel on my mouse is uh, totally not broken or anything like that. Oh, is something wrong? <laughs> it, it's not It's not broken, but it's also not what I would call working. But... Vero belt must snap to a conveyor... ...pole. Oh, yeah. I can see that's just an automated thing. Okay, got yeah, As far it. as I can tell, oh, I hope they fix that. Uh, there was a there was a thing in the Alpha Weekend where it was frustrating that it would t if you couldn't sometimes you couldn't build a conveyor and you couldn't uh -huh. tell why and the reason was uh, it was you were actually didn't have enough resources to make the pole that it was auto generating but it wouldn't tell you that because the selected recipe was for the the, the conveyor itself and not the pole. So it kept not mm. telling you. It's like, it's red, you can't build this because you need like concrete or whatever for the pole. But it wouldn't tell you that, it would just be red for in, with no explanation. Because... Yeah, yeah. It does sound like a bit of an oversight. <clears throat> How do I... 
Yeah, I can make the power pole, but uh, it's telling me invalid aim location everywhere. Uh, like it won't let you craft oh, it anywhere? Do I even need to do that? I can just do a power line off of the... The power lines uh, are pretty long. Uh, they yeah. have a maximum connection count, though. You don't want to keep connecting absolutely everything to the same place. Uh, uh, no, you can't connect two buildings. Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing. Okay, well, I'm just going to put it on the hub for now. Yeah, we will cap out really quickly on how many things can connect to there. Oh. But we have all of our all the structures we care about, so that's Here's good. another pole. I assume we're <laughs> totally out of electricity, though. Uh, I jammed a little bit in there a moment ago. But I don't know. Okay. Well, uh, maybe we just have insufficient power. Oh, no, it's going. All right, it's pooping out its own copper duke snake. A huh. copper duke snake. Copper du That's copper duke snake sounds like a rejected Jojo character. Who dukes the duke man? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe once a week Keith can do that. Uh. Um, although, to be honest... Well, Copper Duke Snake doesn't necessarily sound like a rejected JoJo character. <laughs> it just sounds like, like a real made... one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. We can, we can make it a, we can make it a, a Duke Snake as an <laughs> actual character. That could happen. I believe in them. 